This is Tim with Digital Survival. Thanks for joining me today. It's been a while since I've put out a Starfield video, and I'll get into the details of that later on. Probably not in this video at all, but the very short version is I worked really hard at something, and it had a ridiculously disappointing conclusion. But today's not about that. Today is about fake romancing Sam Co. So if you really like Sam and think he deserves love and attention, you're probably not going to really like this video. Uh, maybe it'll still be funny, though. If you do like it, please click the button that says so. Let's get started. You know, traveling with you has been something else. But the best part is when we're charting course for the next jump. I never feel at home planet side. How about you? You are such a child. So, again, this is a character that has a goal and he's deceitful. Now that's the right answer there. <laughs> See, the people I don't get are the ones who never go anywhere. They stay in their own hometown, they just live and die there. There's a whole galaxy full of wonder and things you could never imagine. How can they be satisfied with one tiny sliver of it? All depends on priority. Oh wow, it actually says priorities there. I just watched <laughs> I just watched a Brett Cooper video about this. Uh, people have different priorities. That doesn't make them wrong. Uh, okay, so the quit. I'm going for I'm going for high relationship with Sam because I want him to be one of my kill choices when the hunter comes. So that's the goal of this. this. Is kind of fun. Yeah, yeah, it's kind well, of fun. Kinda. Me just talking to not you. If they only knew what they were missing, it is going to get me what I'm working towards here. I mean, right. Didn't get I think a like on that. At least get out once. Go someplace, meet people. Yeah, sure. Get out of your comfort zone so you can really see that the worlds are more than just little issues and bickering. Yeah, well, and that takes work. It takes work to go see what reality is rather than just sitting at home and letting somebody else tell you what reality is. So I agree with that in principle. Sure. Oh, gall. Do I. Fine. If they don't come, it leaves more of the galaxy for the two of us, because that's a limited resource. Never thought of it that way. I want to be the code that finds something deep out there. I'd like to discover something that moves people. It makes them feel just a bit of what I feel when I jump systems. Not knowing what's next. Okay. I could listen to you talk like that for hours, handsome. Then you are a glutton for punishment. <laughs> yes, I am. But I do love the way you listen. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, as much as Jacob, my dad, cashes in on the family name, he's got no adventure in him. He has different priorities. It. It's dangerous, sometimes scary out there. But that's what exploration is. Going off the map and seeing if there truly be dragons. Okay, so Jacob's priority is building up the community he's in and protecting the people in it. Okay, and me, real life me, I get that. Total respect to that. Sam is, let's just go out there and fly around and have some fun and maybe something neat will happen. Uh, uh, here's to discovery, Sam. I'm not throwing his dad under the bus here. I couldn't ask for better company. I, I need to go take a shower. I don't got many friends, so I figure I gotta level with you. My past keeps showing up. I should get ahead of it before I get Hey, hey loyalty mission. <sighs> Hell, this is tougher than I thought it was gonna be. Uh-oh, I don't like the sound of this. Oh, good. Now I'm not nervous at all. When I turned 18, my dad used one of his many connections to get me my first real job. That, plus the magical co-family name, meant I was shipping freight out of Aquila. There's a way to take the wonder out of space. It was working for that outfit. Such a baby. Every milligram of helium-3 accounted for. Timetables down to the second. Too busy to ever really appreciate anything. Or even look up. Oh, gall. People being responsible turns you off. That's fantastic, Sam. All the charm of accounting wrapped up in bureaucracy. Joy. <laughs> yeah, that's about the size of it. 
So, an opportunity comes by from the boss man. He says, run this job, don't ask questions, and there's a bonus. Hell, I was still just a kid. I jumped on it. I knew I wasn't shipping some dried mangoes, but... Suddenly, God help me, it was fun. What was fun about it? Up until then, I tried my best to be the dutiful son. I hated it. But man, I tried. This... This was a rush. It's a thrill. Lying through my teeth to customs, even that shady delivery guy. It felt like I was finally, truly living. You have to break the law to feel like you're truly living. <laughs> you are so... Alright, I'm not gonna say it. I could see the appeal. I'm only saying that because I'm trying to get him killed. And you're a hell of a lot smarter than I was. So, uh, more jobs started coming. And everywhere I went, suddenly dangerous people were much better armed. I'd hear about armed conflicts and civilian casualties. Innocent casualties. And I'd pretend that wasn't me. Wow, you were so... Weapons. Maybe I was carrying something else. As long as I never open the boxes, I can keep pretending. Go on with your story, Sam. Soon the boss man's relying on me, and the pay was nice. We also started partying a lot together. Hard. There are whole weeks that are blank. Your dad didn't notice. Never had a lick of trouble. Till I did. Were you that good at it? At the time, I thought I was the bee's knees. But looking back, a lot of it was dumb luck. I swear my damn name got me out of trouble most of the time. Oh, you're a cold like Solomon? They just waved me through. You can't keep playing with fire without getting burned. You're right, of course. To this day, I don't know what I was running that last job. But it was tasty enough, a whole mess of Crimson Fleet jumped me at the rendezvous. Hey, I'm Crimson Fleet. Yeah, a sane man would have been scared. But I looked at my pissant trading skiffs, dual cannons, and shouted, Oh, this is on! Yeah, I blew up one of the pirates before they realized that I was out of my gourd. I managed to get them down to two left before every system I had was fried. I was done. And that should have been the end. But that's when the rangers showed up. I could absolutely see you doing that. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't flinch from living life on the edge a little. Anyway, and then, dependable and straight as an arrow, Lillian Hart came on the calm, and well, it's like hearing the voice of an angel. I gotta meet this lady. The Rangers took them out, no problem. Oh, that's fuzzy, though. See, I passed out. And when I came to, Lillian was there. Seems the Rangers were <laughs> impressed with me. Did they look in your cargo oh, hold? Job. Yeah, by all rights, it should have been a prison cell, but... <laughs> Lillian... She... Saw something in me. And I took the job. And that's it. All my cards are on the table. And Lillian knew you were a smuggler? Officially, my cargo was destroyed by the fleet. Unofficially, hell yes she knew. She jettisoned it herself. I don't know why she did it, but she stuck her neck up for me. And after she helped me sober up and put the mess I was back together. Why would she trust you with her daughter? So that's it, nothing more. Look, I'm guilty as hell of smuggling who knows what. And there are people I dealt with, bad people, that would recognize me. You aren't that kid anymore. You're probably a better person for it. Well, after I hit bottom, <laughs> I learned a lot. Fast. But the thing that scares me is Cora. I mean, I gotta tell her someday. Sometimes the way she looks at me, I'm not worthy of that. But to see that look gone. Maybe you'll get lucky and die before that happens. It's just no, I'm here for you, Sam, with all my heart, always. That means a great deal to me. Just so you know, all this, this is why Lillian is something else. And I really need to own that and have a tough talk with Lillian.
Tell her about that follow-through you mentioned. Cora's at an important age right now. Every visit counts. You can't flake on her. Well, for now, let's do something more cheery. Like getting a root canal. I, I'd, uh, I'd appreciate your advice. After our last talk, I... Well, I just feel a little more... at peace. A little more... whole. Cora's grandpa, good old Jacob, well, he just will not stop pestering me to see Cora. And that's complicated. Cora's got a lot of people that care for her. I mean, can you blame them? She's something else. But things with my dad. My early years, they uh, weren't good. My mother died when I was seven. Some people have such strong memories from their early life. You know, if you hadn't done so many drugs in your rebellious phase, you might recall more. I have some pictures. I remember the feelings. But just a few clear memories. Sorry to hear about your mom. Oh, it's all right. It's ancient history. So, Jacob raised me on his own. And, shit, maybe I don't give him enough credit. I mean, I know how tough it is. But he was strict, hard. Dad was a longtime civil servant, a big man in governments. And he had a future all laid out for me. Man, could he get his hooks into you. He was scary good at that. What exactly did your dad do? At his height, he was some sort of trade minister. A very prominent man in Aquila City. And after I came along, he stepped down to a lower posting. We still had a finger in trade all over the collective. I can't deny it. He sacrificed a lot to be closer to Mom and me. He probably did it out of love. <sighs> Maybe. Why the heck else would he have but done it? Was it was tough to live up to his exacting expectations. But I tried. I felt the weight of legacy. I wanted to do him proud. He said I had to learn the business, run some freight, see how credits flow, speak the language. Meanwhile, he's working some angle for a government job for me after. That sounded even more miserable than what I was doing. Is, is this too much? I wish we met a long time ago. We have to seriously make up for lost time. Imagining you around back then. Let's just say you would have been, uh, distracting. But I had a point, <laughs> if I could remember it. Even after I was with the Rangers, Dad was just always needling angling for me to join the government but by then i knew myself more and i could stand up to him and lillian well she helped if i let jacob into cora's life he'll dream up some big future for her and tie her into knots like he did with me a man could teach a master class in manipulation you know i think he's probably learned and changed since then though sometimes kids have a hard time seeing that it should be up to Cora, otherwise you're making choices for her. Yeah, but she's only 12 and... <laughs> well, I see what you did there. If I just flat out say no, I'm a hypocrite, right? I think uh, that ship has already sailed, Sam. Yes, I got more to think about. Thanks for grabbing me. Cora wanted something and I was hoping you could humor her. For me. Cora! Cora! Thank you for talking to me. So, what's so important that you needed I us? got something super important. Something's wrong with mom. Are you just figuring this out? No. She's in trouble. No sarcasm, Sam. It's been too Sam. long since she's written me. Wait, you read each other? Focus. You didn't know we that. Need to find mom. You believe you me, You suck right? so bad. How do you know she's in trouble? We were reading the Count of Monte Cristo together, and she hasn't gotten back to me. She always sends a message when she's finished, but I haven't heard anything. This may be serious. Very serious. Listen, trust me, Lillian Hart is not in trouble. You're really good this at not is listening. Not normal. I don't even know where she's stationed, Gumdrop. Dad. She's on Neon. I know this is a whopper of a favor to ask, but there will be no end to this until we see Lillian and clear this all up. Boy, he is such a bad father. 
If it'll make Cora feel better, no problem. <sighs> Thanks. You being willing to do this, it means a lot. I know. With all your guns and armor and stuff, it's going to get serious. Lillian will be at the Ranger Outpost on Neon. That's Jalen uh, Price's office. Yeah, I've met Jalen. So, if she's out, he should be able to help. It should be easy. Of course, he's Lillian. Everything will be back to normal. <laughs> you're an idiot. And I'm so glad you're not much longer to live. Alright, next stop. Neon. I got to Neon, I was headed to the ranger station. I was going to start recording there, and then I noticed a little puffball of hair with me. We actually have Cora on the road with us. Why are their screens fuzzy and that one off kilter? Korako is now following you. Love it. Welcome back. Listen, uh, feel free to use anything. Yep, you Wait, know me. Is that Sam Co? You have a lot of nerve. Here to yell at Lillian personally? Maybe change things up a little? Listen, this ain't about me. It's about the kid. Um, uh, I didn't see you, Princess. Sorry. So why are you here, then? Cora hasn't heard from Lillian in a while. She was worried. I'm sorry. I just can't help you. I'm afraid I cannot disclose that information. You do remember that from your ranger days, Sam. About civilians not being allowed to know sensitive information and all that. Hey, it's Cora, right? I'm a ranger. I just can't say anything. I'm sorry. Fortunately for me, I'm not just a civilian. So, this is official business. Sorry. <laughs> That's different. I haven't heard Andy. from Lillian in some time. I know she was working a case, a big one, and was playing it really close to the best. Feel free to search her desk. Maybe there's something there. Sorry, that's all I got. You could have just told us that. I was following procedure. You know how it is, right? Listen, I've heard a lot of stories about you. If Lily needs an assist, she couldn't ask for anyone better. Hey, thanks, Jalen. So good luck. Hopefully, you won't need it. So it seems like that whole uh, Crimson Fleet thing got swept under the rug in favor of all my other good deeds. Let's go find a... Cora's mom. And there's something on the desk to look at right away. Can't look at the computer. Can't steal the shotgun. I mean, you could steal the shotgun. Ranger Lillian Hart's request for 1306 credits for ongoing investigations has been approved. The credit will be delivered to the confidential informant at Ryujin, apartment 305, as requested via dead drop with maximum discretion. It's not a dead drop in an apartment. The dead drop would be somewhere else. Talk to Sam. So what'd you find? Maybe nothing, but Lillian was working with someone. Read for yourself. Well, it is something. So she had a confidential informant. He just put it in his pocket? An address of Lillian's confidential informant. What's a confidential informant? A snitch. Someone that works for bad people, but is helping the authorities on the side. Well, looks like we have a lead. No name, but an address works. Shall we? Didn't we mess up her investigation? Well, as long as you don't make too much noise, we should be fine. Neon's always got people coming and going. But... Uh, something's not right here. Not at all. Let's hurry up. Let's hurry up. So if I go and audition for the Upside Strikers while we're here, would that be frustrating for you? I guess we pay them a visit. And the field trip continues. Now be careful, Cora. Dad! And together, I feel like we could do some serious damage. Alright, let's go find the next thing. Ah, uh, Reason Tower. Gotcha. I feel well, like... Not the best neighborhood. Okay. That was an unexpected interruption. 
Can't move. Why are we here, Sam? Good for Cora. Hey, hey, Panda Cora. Panda Cora. Door's locked. Okay. Oh, yeah, you'd have to be certifiable to leave your door unlocked on Neon. Who's the what cameraman in this game? The lock? <laughs> what? Where the hell did you learn to do that? Wow, you I'm suck looking. so bad. Oh, and Vladimir. Uh, I told you nothing good will come from those books. I can't believe my little Cora is picking locks. I can't believe you don't know your daughter. Are you really that surprised? She's been sitting on a ship by herself for hours and hours at a time. What else is she supposed to do? No, she's a little sponge. Always has been. Just soaking up books and learning like no one's business. But Vladimir and I are gonna have some words. You don't want anybody talking to your daughter. The lock's dead simple. It's, well, child's play. Oh, <laughs> okay. So you're gonna give her tips now? Sure, yeah. I was supposed to be the bad influence here. But seriously, oh, boy. dragging her all over creation? Uh, maybe Lillian's right. Well, Neon's a rough town. She's waltzing through it like it's nothing. Yep. You know, what, what's your problem with that? All this hustle and bustle. I know the allure. I fell for it. It's all champagne and pop rocks until the bill comes due. I don't know what Lillian's right about. So, I don't know. If it keeps up, Cora's going to be amazing when she grows up. You changed your mind, huh? Before you said maybe the ship wasn't good for her, so I thought that. Uh... Lock's done. Well, I guess that's our cue. Oh, I didn't mean living on the ship was going to be great, you nitwit. Ooh, that's not good. Or you should probably wait out here. Ahoy, Captain. You know what? That's, uh, yeah, Bye. okay. It just, just, there's blood on the floor. Jesus. Cora. Dad, I've seen worse. He's just dead. No, he's not just dead. His blood is all over Stay the apartment. I mean it, Cora. We'll investigate. If that's the CI, does that mean mom? Mom's as tough as they come. Mean well, at least he had some run. cherry soda on him. It's not some milk run. Some empty notepad, some board games, guys. Wow, this is a huge mess. This is like a mob hit right here. Find information about Lillian sitting out on a tray in a bookcase. On the floor, of course. Managed to bribe a transport pilot who got some footage of Victor Compound. Sounds like a fake name. Pilot counted the whole mess of syndicate goons. At least 10 plus. He sold me his ID badge for a thousand credits. Wouldn't sign for it, so the rangers will just have to take my word. The rest is like contains further details on Victor Compound. The compound is on McClure 2 and lists its... McClure? Is in Troy McClure? There are digital records of a fake ID and details of a cover story. To infiltrate the compound, there are no references to Lillian Hart. Show Sam the Victor Compound slate. Just, just a sec. Hey, sandwich. Restores five health. Or a bit in sandwich, which restores four. All right, Sam. Wait, what's Cora doing? Just wandering around. <laughs> Looks like you found it. A slate. What's it say? Lillian's doing a deep cover up on the Syndicate. I don't know if it's deep cover. It sounds like a snatch and grab to me. Looks like Cora was right. Well, she's got smarts aplenty. Cora, listen to me. This is too dangerous. No. The Syndicate is very real and very deadly. There's no way. No, you listen, Dad. I'm not eight anymore. I know I can't shoot or anything. But she's my mom. I can be a pair of eyes. I know things. I will be useful. Promise. If mom... And I could have done something about it and didn't... I know that look. Ah, oh, damn it. Boy, you suck. 
if you were in her, her shoes, you'd do the same. That's true. But that's not a valid reason for her to be doing it. Bernie's to promise to stay out of harm's way. Yes. Do you hear that? It's not just me that's worried about you. I promise. I'll be careful. You'll see. Only right. because you're a main character. Let's go find your mother. All right. So if, if that was painful for you, I'm really sorry about that. But that was my working towards the uh, commitment with Sam, including the beginning of his loyalty mission. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and or share. It helps keep me keep doing this thing that most of the time I love. Thanks, and see you soon.